Congratulations to Amir Khan who has won his fight against Carlos Molina. Um, credit to Carlos Molina for staying in there for the, the 10 rounds before getting stopped, obviously. Um, and at no point in time did I think that Carlos Molina was hurt significantly. Khan's hand speed has always been very good and he's always been able to throw blistering combinations. Um, one of the, the plus part points and the most exciting things about Amir Khan. And you can see where um, Virgil Hunter has started to show Amir Khan's defensive moves. He was able to slip to the sides and get, before getting caught flush with punches and turning side on, which was nice moves. Um, so yeah, he did look impressive. Um, and, and this positive, of course he did follow instructions. The Those are the positives. Um, the things that he still would need to work on, he's still getting caught with punches as he's still in, in the pocket with another fighter, which is going to happen, it's part of boxing, you're going to get hit with punches. Um, at no point in time for me did it look, as I said, that Molina was hurt, and that's worrying, considering he's fighting a guy who's just come up from lightweight um, into the division, you would have thought someone like Khan, who's much taller by 3-4 inches, and how much reach he had, your thoughts on that Khan would have blown Molina away and a lot of people were talking about Molina getting blown away but I wasn't of that I believe that Carlos Molina would have stood in there and would have had a go and I thought that at some point Molina was going to catch up with Khan and he did catch Khan with punches but again Molina wasn't a big puncher and um, you know Khan was able to absorb those punches the question mark is I mean I know that Khan call that Danny Garcia the question mark is that yes he may be able to bloody Garcia again and he might have quick hands and he may be able to outbox Garcia but the question still remains can he stick to a game plan under pressure when he's getting hit back hard by somebody who can hurt him that's the question mark and really in terms of that the fight tonight we weren't able to we weren't able to get that revealed to us or we weren't able to get that question answered and we won't have that question answered until Khan gets back in the room with somebody who is a hurtful puncher or is a knockout artist but again a good win for Khan tonight um, he wasn't as reckless um, in the first round when he came out I thought oh here we go again um, so yeah so it's good for Ahmed Khan take a few months off and uh, get him back in the gym and of course there'll be some exciting fights in 2013 so you know, Khan's back and uh, look forward to seeing his future fights. I'm out.